Honourable Members, this year we celebrate the 50th anniversary of the birth of the Organisation of African Unity, which has been succeeded, succeeded by the African Union. We pay tribute to the AU for its relentless struggle for the decolonization of our continent, including contributing to our own freedom. We'll continue to work for a stronger and more effective organization of our union. The NEPAD program, as well as the African peer review mechanism, have just celebrated their 10th year of existence. As the convener of the NEPAD presidential infrastructure campaigning, championing initiative, South Africa continues to work with other champions to implement high impact infrastructure projects in the continent. On peace and security, we stand by the people of Mali in their effort to claim and assert the territorial integrity of their country. We urge the leadership in the Central African Republic, Guinea-Bissau, and Somalia to continue their march towards lasting peace for the sake of their people. We remain firmly opposed to unconstitutional change of government. We are encouraged by the developments between Sudan and South Sudan. We commend our former president, Tabombegi, and others and other members of the AU high-level panel for the dedicated manner in which they have been working with the two sides. We are in solidarity with the DRC as the country battles the menace of its security. South Africa will continue supporting Africa's peace efforts, including through mediation, troop contribution for peacekeeping, and by providing material and financial assistance. In this regard, we look forward to the conclusion of political dialogue in Zimbabwe and Madagascar. Our mission, our vision of a better Africa in a better world will receive great impetus when we host the fifth BRICS summit next month in Durban. We are inspired by the exponential growth of bilateral relations diplomatically and economically between South Africa and other BRICS countries. Strengthening North-South relations remains central to our foreign policy agenda. We reaffirm our partnership with countries of the North, especially the USA, Europe, and Japan. The UN's 70th anniversary provides an opportunity to take forward the transformation of the UN Security Council. We shall continue to use the G20 to represent the aspirations of the people of Africa and push for the transformation of Bretton Woods institutions. South Africa's internationalism has a strong element 
of solidarity to it. We stand with the people of Palestine as they strive to return, as they, as they strive to turn. <laughs> a new leaf in their struggle for their right to self-determination. Hence, we supported their bid for statehood. The expansion of Israel, of Israeli settlements into Palestinian territories is a serious stumbling block to the, resol to, to the resolution of the conflict. <laughs> the right of self-determination for the people of Western Sahara has to be realized. We remain firm in our call for the lifting of economic embargo against Cuba. <laughs> Working together, we can do more to create a better Africa and a better world. 